Uh, so we're continuing our work with the simple interest formula. This time, uh, well, in previous videos, you found I and you found A. Uh, in this video, however, you're going to find P, R, and T, the other parts of the formula. Now, that's going to be a little bit of a problem for some of us because the formula that we've been using so far is I equals P, R, T. And it's really easy to find I there because you just put P, you put R, you put T in the on the right hand side and I pops out. But what's we need to rearrange this formula in a way that's nice and easy and sensible for us. The best way that I can think to do that is as follows, by using what I call the triangle method. So our formula is going to look more like this now. I equals P R T. And using the triangle for a triangle method, you can write four different formulas now. You can write a formula for P, R, T, or I. Here's how it works. P equals, so let's say you wanted to find P. P equals P equals I divided by R times T. So P, circle P, equals I divided by R times T. Very, very simple. Using our triangle method again, I, P, R, T. What if we wanted to find, I don't know, what if we wanted to find T? Okay, so T, circle T, T equals I, divided by P times R. If they're next to each other, it's times. If they're above each other, it's divide. I divided by P times R. T equals I divided by P times R. And then finally, I think you know where I'm going with this. I over P R T. We know how to find I, we know how to find P, we know how to find T. If we want to know R, circle R, I divided by P times T. Okay, so we know I, P, T and R. Now we can find absolutely anything. It doesn't matter what the question is that's presented to us, we can figure it out. Let's take a look at the question. A bank offers 9% per annum simple interest on an investment. At the end of four years, the interest earned was $215. How much was invested? I don't expect you to be able to read these questions that way. This is how you tackle them. P, um, I'm sorry, start again. I, P, R, T. Now look in the question for numbers. Here's a number, here's a number, here's a number and now figure out what those numbers are. 9% per annum. Percent, that's a rate. Okay, so that goes in the rate bit. At the end of four years, four years, that's a time, that goes in the T column. The interest earned was $215. The interest earned was 215 That's interest. Great. So the thing that we don't know is P. We know I, we know R, we know T. Now, using our triangle, if we want to find P, P equals I over R times T. P equals I over R times T. Put in everything we know, 215 over 0 0.09 times 4. Put that into our calculator and we've got an answer. And we get uh, $597.22. Hold up, because I want you to understand what that question means. $597.22 is what the guy put in the bank. When he put it in the bank for four years at 9% per annum simple interest, he earned $215 in interest. That's what the question says. And that sort of makes sense. Okay, so real process here. Make sure that when you look at the question, you write the letters I, P, R, and T and match them up with the things in the, in the question itself. Write them down, put a question mark next to the one you don't know, and then figure that one out. All right, let's try another one.
Okay, so here's our second question here. Now again, you don't even have to be able to read these questions too much. Um, I, P, R, T. And now we just need to identify what each of those are. When $720 is invested, so there's a number, there's a number, there's a number, sorry guys, here's a number, 720, here's a number, 36, here's a number, $205.20. Let's figure out what they all stand for. When $720 is invested, $720 invested, put in the bank. That must be principal. That's the thing you start with. Invested for 36 months. Okay, so 36 months. Uh, that must be time. Now, we could write, because it's in months, we could write 36 over 12. Now, if you put that into your calculator, you'll get three. That's three years. 36 months, three years. Uh, remember, we always put our time in years. Now, $205.20, simple interest. That's interest. Find the yearly interest rate. So they want us to find the rate. So our formula, looking at our triangle again, if you want to find R, if you want to find R, that'll be I divided by P times T. I divided by P times T. You don't have to put the times in there. If two letters are next to each other, it means times. The interest is $205.20. The principal is uh, 720 and the time is three years. Put that into your calculator. Now this is an interesting one. You're going to make a mistake here so you've got to be really careful. The answer is 0 0.095 but that's the rate as a decimal. Listen carefully. That's the rate as a decimal. And you want to express the rate as a percentage. So to do that, you need to move the decimal place two places to the right. 9.5%. Okay, uh, now I was going to run through one more example here. You can see we've done an example where we're finding P. We've done an example where we're finding R. I was going to run through one where we find T. But now that you know the triangle method, and now that you've got this nice little handy way of writing down each of your things, I think you can figure out T by yourself. All right, good luck. Do some questions. Make sure you're checking your answers and asking me if you have any trouble. All right, that's our finding P, R, and T using the simple interest formula.